all right so we are here to learn a little bit more about the sun and uh, the sun that you know is the star of our solar system right so and 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 uh, you know we also know that it is the source of uh, the energy that that is there on earth and and for the life to sustain on earth uh, it's important and it's imperative that the sun uh, you know keeps on providing us with the same uh, energy right but how does how does the sun you know get to give us so much uh, energy and uh, uh, you know what is its composition and and how uh, you know and and how did find find out uh, 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 this much uh, detail about the sun uh, you know when we can actually not look at it you know, but but you know uh, with the advent of science we have been able to uh, crack as to you know how the the, the sun functions so you know to to take you to the basic features of the sun uh the first thing that i will uh, that i would like to show you is the diameter of the sun and that will sort of you know give you an idea about how large the sun is right so now if the sun the diameter of the sun is 1,390,400 kilometers so if you were to fit a number of earths you know across the diameter of the sun you could fit in 109 earths can you just believe that? that that's that's how large the sun is but surprisingly and and you would be really ha i mean you know wondering really allowed right now to know this uh, sun is not one of the larger stars in 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 the universe there are stars you know which are about 1500 to 1600 times in diameter of the sun So you can imagine how big those stars would be, but you know, one point around one point four million is is not a, a, a very small size. It's a huge, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, I mean, a celestial body. And uh, uh, so you know, how does how does the sun get to give us this much this much energy? So there were a lot of theories that initiated the round. Uh, you know, so the theory one that uh, mankind thought was is the right theory is that the sun is a massive you know ball of fire and it didn't make sense and, and it was all wrong right the theory two that came about being is that the gravitational the mass you know of, of, of the sun uh, i mean uh, a gravitational pull of the sun i'm sorry was being converted to energy you know, so gravitational pull was being converted to energy and this is how the sun got, got its energy but that was also all wrong. Then because of the great work of Albert Einstein, we were able to find out that energy and mass are interchangeable right and and he gave this his his famous uh, you know uh, possible i mean formula that's e is equal to mc square you learn more about it as you grow up but for now it is enough to know that energy can get converted to mass and mass can get converted back to energy so what essentially is happening at the surface uh, of, of the uh, of the sun is that you know four hydrogen uh, uh, molecules are going are, are reacting together to form one helium molecule and and this is releasing a huge amount of energy and this is the energy that that you know we get uh, from the sun and and this this reaction is is called a fusion reaction and this is what happens you know at, at the sun and and it gets its its energy well so you know if we were to uh, now uh, see the temperature that's there on the sun's surface so the sun's surface has a temperature about 6000 degrees centigrade right and, and and when you compare that to a 45 degree centigrade really hot day on earth you realize how hot the 6000 degree centigrade is and you know to to your uh, to all our utter bewilderment uh, the the center uh, of, of the sun has a temperature of, of about 14 million degrees centigrade you know so that's how 
hot the sun is and and it, it, it's phenomenal I mean you, if, if you think of this uh, so you know uh, the, 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 the amount of heat that the sun gives out uh, on surface at 6000 degrees centigrade is, is able to travel across a long distance in the solar system and, and reach us and you know so, so to, to tell you a little bit about that the sun is about uh, the sun is about 149 million 597,000 kilometers away from earth right and uh, and it, it takes the sun about I mean the, the light the light from the sun takes about only 8 minutes and 20 seconds to reach us So you you know you can get an estimate of, of how fast light can travel, and uh, so you know uh, this is basically uh, uh, that that uh, the amount of information that that we would know about the sun at this stage. You know there are a lot of other things about the sun to learn, which you know we we will cover in the later uh, uh, videos, and we'll also uh, sort of you know you can also look it up in in an encyclopedia or on the internet. It's uh, about you know the various layers that are there on the sun, the 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 photosphere, and you know what is its internal composition, which you know comprises of aluminium, lead, iron, and other such elements. And uh, it's also you know so there there's also this uh, uh, phenomenon uh, called like there are these uh, uh, solar atmosphere, and uh, you know we can we'll also learn about solar interior and we'll learn about the sunspots in the uh, future videos. Alright, so I hope you had fun learning about the sun.